Do you have dress like this? Expand you. Today's video, I will go over with you five top five dresses that's not gonna work if you are petite. This is a baby doll dress. I used to love it, especially when I was pregnant. But the problem is. Many baby doll designs can be very cute, but they can also add so much volume and make you look pregnant because there's no waist definition. Not just baby doll dresses. Any dress that expands you horizontally is not going to make a petite woman look good because one, they make you look shorter and two, it makes you look bigger than you are. Who wants to look bigger than they are? So if you're petite, avoid any dresses that makes you look horizontally expanded. And number two is oversized dresses. The oversized is such a big trend for the last few years. I get it. It's really comfortable because there is no restriction. There's so much space. The might work on someone who is very skinny and who is very tall. But if you are petite, sorry, no matter how comfortable they are, they are not gonna look flattering on you. And the reason is pretty simple. If you're petite, you have a shorter frame to work with. Use the Olsen twins as an example. Many of you are familiar with them because they are famous actresses in Hollywood. They're five foot two, however, their signature style seem to be the oversized style. That's not particularly flattering to them. In my view, they look way better in faded dresses that shows up their figure. A fitted dress is always the best choice for petite women. It does not need to be a bodycon dress and it's not tight. It just needs to have a defined waistline that won't overwhelm your figure. Number three are the dresses that's too long for you. Don't get me wrong, I love maxi dresses. Maxi dresses can totally work on petite women and they actually are one of the most flattering dresses that I recommend for short women. But if the maxi dresses are too long, that's a no-no for petite women. When I was walking in Manhattan, I see a lot of petite women wearing maxi dresses sweeping the ground. I get it, that looks trendy, that's a bohemian kind of vibe, but I don't really personally understand why you would want a dress to be that long. To me, that gets your dress is really dirty. And, and also, I would be worried that I might trip on something and, and fall. So if the dresses are too long, get it tailored. My suggestion, the best length for you, for the maxi dresses, is that when you wear flats, they should reach your ankle, but not longer than that. If you're only gonna wear maxi dresses with heels, then you can go longer. But otherwise, if you want a dress that works both for flats and heels, I wouldn't go longer than your heels. Number four is a drop waisted dresses. These dresses are also very trendy, but they would only work if your goal is to make your torso look longer and your legs look shorter. Most petite women, number one concern is the opposite. We want our legs to look longer. So when you wear the drop waisted dress, the dress is actually gonna be sitting lower than your natural waistline. It's the opposite of what you wanna do if you want your legs to look longer. If you're petite, what works the best is to elevate your waistline. You want to achieve the best proportion of your body, then you look for a design that has a higher waistline than your natural waist. And that's how you make your perceived waistline look higher and how you make your legs appear longer. With the drop waist dress, it does quite the opposite. And number five is a midi dress. Okay, this one, it's a little bit controversial because midi dress is very much on trend and I know many of my blog readers, they love midi dresses for many different reasons. The biggest reason that midi dresses are not flattering for petite women is because of the length. Most midi dresses end on your calves. That's pretty awkward length. If you're petite, I suggest you go either shorter or go longer. If you go shorter, the best length for you is above the knee. 
it's up to you how many inches above the knee or just right at the knee. Or if you want to go longer, then you go with a maxi dress. Because a maxi dress can maximize your leg length by extending that vertical unbroken line in your body. When you go with a midi dress, it's kind of somewhere in between. It may sound safe, but it's not the best length for petite women. Let's compare the two lengths on Vanessa Hudgens. She is 5 foot 2. When she is wearing the midi length, it doesn't look bad on her, right? But when she's wearing a longer length, the maxi length, it clearly looks much more elongating and flattering for her petite figure. I do understand a lot of you love midi dresses. I'm not saying it's impossible for them to look flattering, but it's just harder. It's a challenge. So you have to pay special attention to the details of the midi dresses. You have to make sure the waistline looks higher than your natural waist, and you want to make sure the prints are not too big, and you want to make sure it doesn't end right at the widest part of your calves. If you are interested in wearing, wearing midi dresses, I do have another video on how to wear midi dresses if you are petite. Watch this video and let me know if you have questions.